The, holiday, the holidays are a time for family get-togethers, and, and it's also a really good time to discuss some important things regarding our loved ones, such as decisions with Medicare. We are welcoming back Joanne Giardini-Russell and Courtney Ventrone from our partners and our friends at Senior Health Medicare to help us out. Now, our viewers may want to grab a pen and paper and have it handy for some really important information in a minute, but ladies, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Now, tell us why this is a really good time to have these discussions and conversations with our loved ones. Well, the busiest time of year just ended, which is our annual election period, but that does not mean that there's still not changes to be made with Medicare. Um, so it's important for people to not neglect other times of the year when it comes to these decisions. All right, so you know how we do it, everyone. We're going to play a sort of trivia game in hopes of making it easier to understand the decisions regarding Medicare and invite our viewers to play along. We call this Medicare Myths versus Truths, and we are... You're, you're going to put me and our viewers to the test, right? Yes, we are. Okay. Question number one. Question right. number one. Now that the annual enrollment window has closed, I'm stuck in the same Medigap plan until next October. Myth or truth? I'm going to say that's the truth. It is a myth. Oh, really? It is. You can change your Medigap supplement, Medicare supplement, Medigap, it's the same term. You can change that any time of year. Uh -huh. um, despite common thinking, a lot of times seniors think that they can only change during the last part of the year. It's not true. Um, if you have a true Medigap, that's Plan F, Plan C, Plan G, um, you can change any time throughout the year. Just give us a call and we can help you out with that. And uh, you can save a lot of money doing that a lot of times. Some, right. Sometimes companies take their rate increases odd times of the year hmm. and people think they're stuck, but they're not. All right, well, good to know. That's a great one. Yes. Yeah, stump me with that one. So let's get to our <laughs> second question because I want to make sure we get through all these. You did. I want to move to a Medicare, I want to move from a Medicare Advantage plan to a Medicare supplement or Medigap, but I can't since I missed the annual election period. Medicare Advantage plan to Medicare supplement. I'm going to say that's true. False again. What? <laughs> Not doing so well this time. So explain yeah. that one. Medicare Advantage is a different animal than Medigap. Much okay. different animal. Medicare Advantage is what you heard about on the two commercials last October, November, December. That's the time where you can typically get out. But there is another Medicare Advantage disenrollment period that starts January 1st and goes to February 14th. Right. So if you've learned that Medicare Advantage might have more hidden costs or things that you weren't aware of, now's the time to call our guys back at the call center right now. Uh, go over that because you can get out. Um, this came up last night with the whole the tax bill going on. Mm -hmm. A lot of conversations this right. morning with uh, Medicare potential cuts and things like that. Things are changing, so you really do want to review your plans um, now and immediately. All right. So All right. call in for that. Let's get into our third question. Third question: If your doctor accepts Medicare insurance, they must accept your Medicare plan, your Medicare supplement plan, no matter what the insurance company is. I would say that that's true. That is true. Finally. That is true. <laughs> One question that you need to ask your doctors, do you accept Medicare? Bottom line, the company does not matter. If they accept Medicare, they accept your supplement. It's like a train with a caboose, dog with a tail. Um, we get It really grinds my gears. We get this a lot with our, our clients. They call in and say, I'd like to change. I've never heard, my doctor's never heard of that company. It absolutely does not matter. If your doctor takes Medicare, they take your supplement. All right, let's get into the fourth question. Our last question, is there multiple Medicare supplement plans are being discontinued in January of 2020? That's true. That's true, because yes. we have talked about that before. Yes. And this is really important, which is why every month we come back to hammer this point home. There are a lot of plans, um, uh, namely Plan F and C, Frank and Charlie, that are Medigap. And Courtney talked about the, the ability to change Medigap now or every day of the year. Mm -hmm. A lot of them had increases maybe in January coming up. You might have mm -hmm. gotten your notice. Mm -hmm. And you can change those, but there's a lot of really good reasons to get out of Plan F and Plan C. So you need to call in, review your plan. Uh, it's, it's pretty imperative to do it. So we spent all year doing that for seniors. Um, we'll be preaching this until 2020. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. And we'll be back next month preaching it as well. Yeah. Good. Let's so, keep doing that. We have to make yeah. sure we inculcate this information. Yeah, exactly. Because it's really, really important, if not for you watching, but for someone you know and love, right? Yeah, yeah, and there's so much misinformation. Yeah. People are just confused. So we can help make it easier. It's awesome. your health care. It's a big deal. Awesome, ladies. Thank, thank you so thank much. You. Happy yeah. holidays. You too. You thank too. You so to get more answers to your questions about Medicare, contact Senior Health Medicare by calling 888 4 5049 or visit their website seniorhealthmedicare.com Jason she said uh, really